Hey everybody, I'm the Ranting Monkey, and today we're going to look at why having a vagina is not always enough. To anyone who thinks it's okay to vote for a white man in 2020, it is not. White men are the biggest problem with the world. If you don't get that, you are part of the problem as well. Hashtag vote for women. Hashtag vote WOC. Dear fuck, how soon is too soon for ducks? There's a lot of stupid people in D.C. from both parties. For instance, there's Hank Johnson, who is a Democrat so dumb even CNN's Anderson Cooper made fun of him. A lot of odd things happen in Planet Washington. I actually thought this this was kind of an April Fool's joke when I saw it today, but it's not. It took place last week in a House Armed Services Committee hearing discussing a military buildup on the island of Guam. Here's Georgia Congressman Hank Johnson. Listen. This is a uh, island that at its widest level is what 12 miles from shore to shore and at its smallest level uh, or smallest uh, uh, location it's uh, seven miles uh, between one shore and the other is that correct I don't have the exact uh, dimensions, but uh, to your point, sir, I think Guam is a small island. Very relatively. small island and about 24 miles, if I recall, long. So 20, 24 miles long, about 7 miles wide at the least widest uh, place on the island and about 20, about 12 miles wide. Uh, uh, on the widest part of the island, and um, I don't know how many square miles that that is. Do you happen to know? I don't have that uh, figure with me, sir. I can certainly supply it to you if you'd like. Yeah, my my fear is that uh, the whole island will uh, become so overly populated that it will tip over and. Uh, and capsize. Yep, you heard him right. Not only was this a member of Congress, he still is in Congress, a representative who was actually re-elected after suggesting an island would capsize. Now we look at old Hank just because, well, we're going to talk about some women in Congress and how really dumb they are. But more importantly, how dumb shit like this is. If men had to nurse pump every few hours for months, and we're up multiple times in the night with hungry and or upset babies. I was just up 2 to 5 a.m. I imagine the U.S. would have better paid parental leave policy so we wouldn't have to work in an exhausted state day after day. Hashtag vote for women. Yes, all through 2018 we had to hear hashtag vote for women. Not vote for smart women. Not vote for educated women. Not vote for qualified women. Just vote for women. Now give this lady credit. At least she had a reason for saying vote for women. Sure, it's a dumb reason, but at least it's a reason other than just vagina, which is basically what we saw in 2018 with the hashtag vote for women. Over and over on Twitter, I saw vote for women, vote for women. And of course, don't forget, vote for women of color. You know, Congressman Hank Johnson, he's an absolute moron, but at least he wasn't put into office by people who were voting for him based on his genitals. There was more to his campaign than, look, I have a dick. People like Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, they were elected just because of their pussy. Don't worry, we're not going into AOC. Sure, there's a lot of comedy gold there, but Sinatra Says just did a great video on her, which saves me the trouble. Yeah, what Trump said there was incredibly dumb, but I'm kind of surprised AOC didn't buy it wholesale by going, if turbines are giving people wind cancer, is there any way we can ban wind? I didn't set my hopes high at all, and somehow I was still disappointed. You can check out that full video, it is linked below. Instead of starting with AOC, we're going to have a look at this idiot. First of all, welcome to all of you for being here. This is your house. You have entered the people's house. You are Americans, except in paper. Yep, you heard that right. You have entered the people's house. You are Americans, except in paper. You're Americans except in paper. So in other words, not at all. This would be like declaring these people Canadians, except on paper. Or Germans, except on paper. The funny thing 
or the sad thing, depending on how you look at it, is that this isn't even the dumbest thing she says in this meeting. And we will make sure that by the end of this hearing, we pass the Dreamer, TPS, and Venezuelan TPS bill through committee. So thank you for being here with us. And I apologize for any <laughs> insulting comments because um, I just want to also remind my colleagues across the aisle, when you use language like illegal aliens, I would like for you to just take one moment and see how everyone reacts to that language. That's right. You look at their faces when you call those illegal aliens illegal aliens. Wait, what the fuck? Strap in, folks. It's about to get really, really stupid. I am an immigrant. I am not an extraterrestrial. No one here is an alien. Oh my god, the bitch actually said it. One more time. I am an immigrant. I am not an extraterrestrial. No one here is an alien. Oh dear Christ, this is a sitting member of Congress who not only thinks you can be a citizen without actually being a citizen, but who also thinks alien only means E.T. How did this happen? Well, people voted vagina. This is at least as stupid as thinking Guam is going to flip over. But did she get a bunch of pushback? Of course not, because she's got a magical vajayj. Anderson Cooper wasn't drawing E.T. on the screen as she was talking, making fun of how dumb she was. He didn't come out and say, I thought this was an April Fool's joke. Nope, because she gets a pussy pass. As dumb as she is, our next example, well, fuck. How many more children must die before we address the atrocities our country is committing at our southern border? Ilhan Omar. Yep, oh, Ilhan Omar. Everyone's favorite freshman House member from Minnesota, whose anti-Semitism occasionally causes the House, run by her own party, to pass resolutions against hate. But don't worry, she's not anti-Semitic. Nancy Pelosi told us, she just doesn't understand how words are used. I don't think our colleague is anti-Semitic. I think she just has different experiences in the use of words. Doesn't understand that some of them are fraught with meaning that she didn't realize. By the way, Omar's 37 years old and has lived in this country for 17 years. But she just doesn't understand that sometimes saying anti-Semitic things might be taken as anti-Semitic. Now this tweet from Omar is kind of a dick move. How many more children must die before we do something? Making it sound like the child in the story died from something the border control did. But if you actually go read the story, you get to see exactly what kind of bitch Ilhan Omar is. Mark Weber, a spokesperson for the Health and Human Services, said in a statement to CBS News that the girl had a history of congenital heart defects. When she entered the care of an Office of Refugee Resettlement facility in San Antonio, Texas on March 4, 2018, she was in a medically fragile state, Weber said. Following a surgical procedure, complications left the child in a comatose state. She was transported to a nursing facility in Phoenix, Arizona for palliative care in May after release from San Antonio Hospital, Weber said. On September 26, she was transferred to an Omaha, Nebraska nursing facility to be closer to her family. On September 29, the child was transported to Children's Hospital of Omaha, where she passed due to fever and respiratory distress. How many more children must die before we address the atrocities our country is committing at our southern border? Ilhan Omar. The article you link to tells a story about Border Patrol doing all they could to help this kid. She had surgery and then was put in homes to try to keep her near her family. She had a history of heart problems and she traveled all the way from El Salvador. You think dragging a child with congenital heart defects halfway across a fucking continent might have something to do with why she died? This kid got better treatment than some Americans and you're sitting there talking about the atrocities at our border? What the fuck are you even on? I gotta tell you guys, this one actually angered me. Because either she is a fucking moron or she is just dirty. Now, given her hatred of Jews, I tend to lean towards the just dirty... On the other hand, if I'm to believe the leader of her caucus in Congress, this woman doesn't even know what fucking words mean. So maybe she is just an idiot. Either way, once again I have to ask, how did we get here? How did we get somebody like this in Congress? Oh yeah, that's right. Vagina. I'm not telling you not to vote for women. There are plenty of smart women out there who, yeah, maybe they should be in Congress. What I'm saying is is maybe the reason we got a whole bunch of women in Congress who didn't realize a bunch of Democrats dressing in white to show unity might not be the best optics. Some of us actually remember the last time a whole bunch of Democrats got together wearing white. Hmm, that might explain that whole anti-Semitism thing. It's your vote. Use it however you want to. 
But if you are out there telling me that you're going to vote based on some identitarian bullshit, I'm going to tell you how fucking stupid it is. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up this one. Don't forget to check out Sinatra's video that I showed you earlier. Links for all of the stories I mentioned are below. Please follow me on the social media links. And if you're so inclined, support the channel financially. Thank you so much for watching. I'm the Ranting Monkey, and I'll see you next time. I am an immigrant. I am not an extraterrestrial. No one here is an alien. Your life makes me sad.